Hi my good people. Karibuni sana to my YouTube channel once more. I'm so excited today. Hmm. Why because I want us to discuss or talk about why we miss opportunities. Um, opportunities at workplace, uh, you know, promotions, opportunities at, our, at the marketplace, at our businesses, in schools, in our endeavors. Why do we miss opportunities? And looking through, there's one thing that I realize causes us to miss opportunities. And this is what I want us to talk about in specific. Imposter syndrome. What is imposter syndrome? Imposter syndrome is a feeling of doubtfulness that especially catches up with people who are high achievers. You're a high achiever, you're a good performer, but you don't want to apply for promotions, opportunities that come at your workplace. You don't want to apply for that business opportunity. You don't want to try it out. You're afraid and you feel like you're, you, you may fail. You're afraid of failure. You're afraid of looking like a fraud. Like you're, you're thinking, okay, so what will people think about me? What if I fail? It's like you're thinking more of failure than of the success. Yes, you're afraid more than you're bold. And today I want us to deal with that and how to fix it. Probably you're that person who feels like, I don't want to feel like I overpromised and underdelivered, but here it is. One of the ways that uh, we can fix it is that by owning our successes. Like, acknowledge you're successful. When you succeed in something, appreciate you made it. And more so, acknowledge uh, accolades. When people appreciate that you did something, actually acknowledge it. Um, don't think that you just got to where you are by sheer luck or uh, because uh, someone helped you get through it. You're competent. Yes. You're good enough. You're equal to the task. And yeah, apply for that promotion. Apply for that opportunity. Don't let it slip uh, through your fingers. And the other thing is that we need to activate our thought pattern to be a positive one. Like for instance, think of things like you're going to make it right you're going to be successful so when you want to start with the, the thought that uh, yes i'm going to be successful you start with having positive affirmations about yourself that i am equal to the task when you're called up for a meeting and you start feeling like um i don't qualify to sit at the table you're already self-sabotaging yourself don't self-sabotage yourself i feel and i strongly believe that self-belief is the first thing that comes when you want to be successful. So believe in yourself, have positive affirmations about yourself, get into that place, believe you're, you're competent, and voila, I mean, things come to those who believe. Henry Ford, as he said, if you believe you can, if you believe you can't, either way, you're right. So believe the things that you want to become. So one of the other things that uh, I believe can help us in dealing with the imposter syndrome is stop believing you're an imposter. You're not. Are you an imposter? No. So believe you're not an imposter. And then the other thing, talk about it. Talk to someone. Tell them how you feel. Yes. Um, a problem shared is a problem half solved. So when you feel like you're over, you, you, you don't qualify, talk to someone. They may just be the people you need to affirm you so guys let's go for these opportunities let them not go slip out of your fingers don't miss the opportunities imposter syndrome is real in people and some of the things that may have caused them to have that is sometimes our upbringing our environment it may cause us to have the imposter syndrome our feelings of um, inadequacy um, that can actually cause anxiety. It can cause us a lot of anxiety. It can cause us depression. And it actually now causes us to miss opportunities. So deal with imposter syndrome. Let's seize the moments. Let's take on the uh, opportunities that come our way. Successful Famoja. See you guys. Till next time. Bye. Bye.